In 2002, a rig working for BP called the Ocean King suffers a major accident. On the 8th of August in 2002, the Ocean King experienced a blowout and drilling mods went everywhere. At 8.30 in the morning, drilling fluid erupts out of the rig's drill pipe. 35 minutes later, highly flammable methane from a gas pocket three and a half thousand feet below the seabed bursts out onto the deck. All of the crew were evacuated, but there was an explosion and a fire on that rig. It takes two months and millions of dollars to repair the Ocean King. But then there is a second accident. Three months after that explosion, something similar happened. So there was gas and mud coming out of the well, which looked like the well had failed to seal. Once again, the crew is lucky and no one dies. The official response to this double accident cites a chain of management and safety failings, erroneous chain of decisions, inadequate training of personnel, and inadequate planning. There weren't really any serious ramifications. The fine for the Ocean King accident was about $41,000, which is really not very much for an oil and gas company. At the time the fine is issued, BP's profits are $32 billion a year. Yet, despite the Ocean King incidents, seven years later, safety failures are still slipping through the net. In September 2009, Seven months before the deadly disaster, BP runs a safety audit of the Deepwater Horizon. It picks up several major maintenance issues and recommends rig operations are suspended immediately until they are fixed. For an installation like the Deepwater Horizon, maintenance is, is pretty serious. It's not just like fixing a shelf or changing a light bulb. Uh, these are a lot of safety systems, so making sure that they're maintained is absolutely vital and it's there to protect the people on that rig and the environment that that rig is in. Five days after the audit, the rig is put back into service without fixing all the issues raised. The audit also notes that one vital piece of safety equipment called the blowout preventer is five years overdue for recertification. We put things into service more than people want to know before it's ready because that's what the calendar said and most of the time it doesn't go so badly it's an attitude with a bad track record the titanic still had workers on board when it set sail on its maiden voyage but why doesn't the federal regulator step in to make sure that critical safety work gets done immediately that is the next mistake because in reality, one of the world's biggest heavy industries isn't being properly regulated in the Gulf of Mexico. Dangerous errors like Deepwater Horizon's safety audit issues aren't flagged. The company was basically operating unsupervised by the government. It was based on trust. April 20th, 9.49 p.m., the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig explodes. The oil spill that follows becomes the greatest environmental disaster in U.S. history. I wasn't surprised to see a deep water disaster. I was very surprised at the scale of what came next. 